Today, every day, small cap investors visit Agoracom knowing this is the day to discover the world's next great company, to have their dreams come true. That's why I take to the open road, to find them, to tell their stories, to engage them, to bring them to life. Because they want to connect with you from your office, your phone, your home, anywhere. Agoracom, find your dream. Welcome to CEO Interviews, a production of Gore Commons, which we speak with small cap executives about their companies and what's developing. With us today, I'm happy to have for the first time, Trevor Richardson. He's president and chief operating officer at New Age Metals. The company trades on the TSX Venture Exchange on the stock symbol NAM, New Age Metals. For our friends in the US, P-A-W-E-F, and for our friends in Germany, P-7-J-F. Now, for those of you who are new to the story, and it's not going to be a lot of you, but for those of you who, are, who want to know more about this, New Age Metals is focused on the development of Canada's largest PGM deposit. That's Platinum Group Metals. We'll talk about that in a second, but it's really big. It's a River Valley PGM project, which is located up the road in Sudbury. Uh, the, the project has 3.9 million ounces of palladium equivalent in the measured and indicated category, as well as another 1.2 million ounces on the inferred side. Here to talk about that uh, project is Trevor. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, George. I'm very excited to talk about our progress and uh, we've, we've done a lot of things since the 2012 uh, resource and I'm excited to tell uh, the viewers what we're doing uh, going forward. All right, first things first. Look, in this country, we're so used to talking about gold, silver, copper, even zinc. Uh, that you don't hear people talk a lot about palladium, certain not palladium equivalents. That number, the size of the resource, 3.9 million ounces of palladium equivalent in the measured and indicated, plus another 1.2 uh, on the inferred side. Can you give everyone at home a sense, how big is this project? Well, this project is quite huge. I spent most of my career in the Bushveld Ignis complex in South Africa, which most of the platinum palladium of the world comes out of. And uh, if you take 3.9 million ounces of palladium equivalent and you times that by nine, $965 an ounce palladium, um, you can do the math as how much money is sitting in the ground. And we're trading at a $4 million market cap. So that, that alone is, it's huge. Um, so we're, we're pushing forward. This is definitely gonna be something that is gonna be uh, mined. You know, George, if I ask you, if I ask you how many gold projects can you um, talk about, you know, you can you can you can talk about you know 50, 100 gold projects. How many palladium platinum projects can you talk about? You can not even count it on your fingers. And that's the biggest thing that we we're pushing is that there is such a deficit going forward. And if you look at Rick Rule's um, comments, you know, yesterday or the day before, right. is he's you know it, there's a huge deficit going forward in the sense of platinum palladium production because the South African mines are getting deeper. They're getting more expensive to mine. And, you know, there's no new projects coming online. What's the future looking for, for platinum play? I'm going to play devil's advocate. Any chance that as all these, you know, new metals are coming out and new kind of resources are coming out that the future demand for platinum palladium just isn't going to be there? How do you foresee it? I foresee it being a, a very strong demand. I mean, we all, you know, platinum palladium is obviously used in catalytic converters and, you know, everyone's pushing towards a battery operated car, but we all know that a battery operated car can only go so far. And we're, we're many years away from being to the point that we can have a battery operated car that could actually take you from say Toronto to um, Winnipeg. You know, like it's, it's yeah, just- Yeah, where you got to fuel along the way and there's enough infrastructure to actually support it. We can all so, dart around the city and you'll know, go do some shopping but you yeah. can't really go cross country and expect to be filling up along the way. And that's the thing is and palladium is also in the fuel cells. So um, it's, you know, like the technology going forward and we're, we're very, we're a green metals company. We're very green metals. Um, and that's why, you know, in the catalytic converter, but it's not, it's not going to be there very soon. You know, it's not something that's going to be turnkey. Like, and that's why, you know, the supply of platinum palladium, this project is going to be right there on the doorstep. 
All right. So on top of having the size of project you have, and obviously it's relevant to the future of the car industry, that's not going anywhere. You're actually, uh, you've engaged WSP Canada to update the River Valley resource. The last time you guys updated the resource and you, we had this massive number we talked about was 2012. What are you expecting out of the new resource? And, and I'm not asking for a specific number because I don't think you can give us that, but just you know, improvement size-wise, what are you looking for? And when is that coming out? So to, to back up on that, with the beauty of getting WSP um, is that Todd, Todd McCracken, who's the geologist that did the 2012 resource for a previous company um, who moved to WSP is going to upgrade the resource that we're doing now. And that's very important as a geologist myself. Um, it's very important because he doesn't have to go back on the previous data because he's already reviewed all the previous data. We have every single borehole drilled to date, $30 million spent on the northern area, $5 million spent on the bottom area, 30, $35 million spent to date. Um, and he doesn't have to go back. He's got all the data. So for him to move into the resources, it, it should be a very quick and seamless um, um, operation. So we're looking uh, probably towards January, February next year where we have an upgraded resource. Now, when you, talk about, PVC. I think, when you talk numbers, I think it'll be a substantial upgrade because it's from 2012 to 2017 from all the work that we've done. But also, it's also including the $5 million that Impala Platinum has spent on the southern portion, and that's going to be included in the resource as well. All right. So to me, there are no weaknesses in this project. It's just a tremendous project. I've actually driven to it. I drive up the, for anyone who lives in or has visited you know, uh, Toronto, that's a, almost everybody in the mining space. You just go up the 400 door to get to Sudbury, you know, take a couple of side roads and you're there, right? Yeah, you can, so, you can, drive, you can drive a car right into the Oprah. You can, right. like we had, we had a visit uh, about a month ago. Um, we had 42 people on the site visit and five of them were cars. And, you know, a car drove right up to where we would potentially put the open pit. I mean, this is probably one of the most undervalued um, companies I've seen ever um, in the sense of how much metal is in the ground and what we're trading in. So what's your plan for 2018? Because it sounds like you're waiting for the updated resource uh, to really power out the new numbers. Is this going to be the resource estimate that finally takes new age metals over the edge and people really start to recognize holy moly this thing is undervalued here um and what do you what do you plan to do in 2018 to get those numbers out to everybody well i think if you look at palladium for for example um it's probably the top trading metal well it is a top top trading metal uh, this year and yep. if you look and if you look at north american palladium which is the only producer in north america um in Canada, uh, just outside Thunder Bay, their stock has gone, you know, it, it's gone up, I, I don't know the exact percentage, but it's gone up quite substantially. So there's a delay in the sense of where the market is actually seeing what the, what the metals are doing. And I think the market is gonna start understanding that platinum palladium is a commodity that we need and that there's a deficit. So in 2018, what we plan is obviously upgrading those numbers and those, those numbers, on the resource are going to be substantial, and um, I can't give obviously you know uh, an actual number, but um, when we from 2018 onwards, we're moving towards a preliminary economic assessment (PEA), and that's where we you know we will you know have an actual you know uh, pit design, um, you know MPV, IRR, and we can actually have numbers where there's value to the project. I, you probably don't have the numbers yet, but is it is it a reasonable number do you is this a is this to get river valley into production how close are you for because i don't think we've ever had that conversation but how close are you to river valley actually going into production uh from both a logistics point of view which is pretty easy because where it's located and a financial viability point of view because is this one of those projects perhaps i i, I know some companies i won't name their names but they got these big resources but they need a billion dollars in order to, to get the project up and running. And you just can't find that, you know, are you in that reasonable financial viable, you know, area where a space where it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that difficult to get river Valley uh, producing at some point. No. And that's George, that's actually a good, good question in the sense that uh, 
our real benefit is that we're only 100 kilometers from Sudbury. North American Palladium trucks their concentrate over 1,000 kilometers to Sudbury. So we've got a metallurgical complex right next door. So we can concentrate on site and then truck 100 kilometers to Sudbury and then sell our concentrate. So it's, it's actually, and the other side of it as well is that if, if anyone uh, wants to look at our presentation online, if you look at the northern portion of our property, it's all under mining lease. So it's turnkey. So we could literally start mining tomorrow. We just have to have those numbers. Only a matter of time then, Trevor. Uh, you know, you've been around this industry a long time. You're not a hype guy. You're not a guy that works on promotion. You're, you know, you're a real fundamental guy. Is this only a matter of time until River Valley, you know, achieves its proper valuation in the market because it actually is going to have this resource update. It is going to start producing at some point. At that point, all, all bets are off. There, there's, there's no doubt in my mind, but this is a mine. Okay, now to go back in history, I actually worked on this project when I was in university before I went to South Africa and spent 10 years on the Bushveld Ignis complex. And um, this, this is a mine. And, you know, and it's bigger than we even can fathom. We, you know, we can't just keep going back to market to, to drill out 16 kilometers of strike. Now that's why we're updating the resource and we're going moving towards a PEA so we can show the market that there's actual real numbers here and this is an actual viable project to mine. Well then, you know, we'll end it on that note because it sounds like you're going to be coming out with your, with your update in the early part of Q1, which is like I said earlier, I kind of chimed in on you there, that it's going to be perfect timing for PDAC. Yeah. Uh, so we're looking forward to having you back. And by the way, you are the new face of, of New Age Metals now and of this River Valley project because for the longest time, it was Harry Barr, very accomplished, very successful uh, at getting everything to this point. But, uh, but you're the new face. Uh, what do you bring to the company uh, that's uh, in addition to what Harry was able to do, you know, as the young, you know, the young, uh, real knowledgeable guy who's been on this project all these years, probably fresher than most of us. You know, what do you bring to the table that, that gives you great confidence for 2018? Well, I spent, like I said, I spent most of my career in the Bushveld Ignis complex, but more importantly, my, I have a private company in South Africa called CCIC that does 100% of all of Anglo Platinum's um, exploration work in the Bushveld, and it still has been doing since 1999, wow. um, which spent the $30 million on um, the project PFN or, you know, uh, New Age Metals, River Valley. And um, so, there, like, I've got a history in this project, I've known the project, um, and just one thing I want to really uh, push forward here, George, is that when Anglo Platinum pulled out, they didn't pull out for technical reasons. They pulled out because their budgets were cut. Okay. And I know that personally because, um, you know, I was working with them in South Africa during, during the time they had the JD. So though the two guys that were responsible for spending that money are actually part of our team now. They're, one of them is a director and the other one has put his personal money in. He's part of the advisory board. So they believe in the project. So um, going back to like Harry and I have known each other for 20 over 20 years. Um, absolute great respect um, with Harry and we have a great uh, working relationship and you know, we're going to push this company forward. Trevor, uh, it's been awesome having you on the show for the first time. What I really like about what you bring to the table, personally speaking, after having this interview done is the quiet confidence that you got there. You know, you're, you're not stretching for answers. You know what you got. You know where it's going to be. Uh, and you've got that really, you know, that really great confidence and that plays through. And I hope everyone at home is realizing that, that, you know, it is, it is only a matter of time till River, ba River Valley becomes something quite substantial. And, uh, and at that point, uh, you probably want to be on the train. Uh, yeah. We can't tell you what to do. You've got to do your due diligence. Get to the company's website. Get to the New Age Metals website. Also, get to Agoracom. We've got full profile, full overview there that sums it all up nice, uh, nicely for you in under five minutes. Uh, watch previous interviews we've done. And uh, coming soon, you're going to see this, but you're actually going to be able to start talking uh, with Trevor online as well. Uh, but we'll save that, we'll save that for, for another day. But Trevor, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, George. You've been watching Trevor Richardson. He's president and chief operating officer of New Age Metals, the company trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the stock symbol N.
A M for our friends in the U S P A W E F. And for our friends in Germany, P seven J that's the symbol on Frankfurt. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Do your due diligence. Don't say we didn't tell you so when it comes to new age medals. Talk to you soon.